Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And yes, it's a haven defense we have coming up and we are crossing our fingers, we are crossing our toes that a siren is joining in on this haven attack. That's because we need to capture one to <laughs> if we ever want to end this, this playthrough. So let's get in here and see if that's a possibility, if that's going to happen. And if so, if we can manage to capture this siren and i think as part of that it's extreme it's night oh uh, you know not everything you, you want to set it up for this way uh but we do have the return fire that's going to go out on this one and then we'll figure out who we want to take along with that now we do have a stick dude if we have uh over get a little overpowered with enemies other than a siren I'm trying to think of uh Ooh, I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely bringing, uh, now we, 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 we got a good weapon there. We have Neo that could help out. Mad Mac, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, oh, we have Nathral Necro. You know, there's so many, <laughs> there's so many that we could take and we have here available. In fact, I'm wondering, do I want, does Sam Rockwell have uh, Onslaught? I'm kind of thinking he could be valuable that way but does somebody else here have onslaught too like you tony shalhoub oh yeah so we we do have backup we have onslaughters we, we we'll get by on this thing uh there's the team i'm gonna take out let's just get it going now and i don't know that we have a lot to spend i could give you strength but we'll save up for these two instead and there we go the return fire Need no adjustments there. This is early game, so there's no chaos engines attachments for this Aspida. This is before those existed and were developed. Okay, we have enough SP. We can give you a little more strength, Citizen Eileen. And uh, other than that, we're good. And we got a lot of us that have the uh, paralyzing pistols. So hopefully that will help us out. In fact, I'm not taking, I don't know that I need to take with, with both an Aspida and all those pistols. I think we'll be okay without having anybody sporting the Athena, but I'll, I'll double check once we're done. Just, just to see if maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's go there. Tony Stark, you're not going. Mad Max, I think you are going. As a matter of fact, we have the Neurazer. Why don't we, just in case, have you carry that instead and play with it this way. In fact, uh, we'll add that 11 in strength. We'll take away the extra pistol ammo, which I think we'll need less. And I'd rather carry for you one extra shot of a med kit. And we'll play it that way. Nathral, looking pretty fine here. I'm going to give you extra will for potential... To remote control and then is there anything else it is a dark environment you know but you're not the one that shoots as much so we're gonna go back and see we do have some night vision available since it is a nighttime mission maybe what we do is we actually throw it on you so as you're running around potentially for us Nikolai you can see what's out there and, and help us out that way I think that's how we'll do this one there's some strength for you and I think that's everybody. Now, the only other thing we could wear is a mist helmet to remove mist, but I don't think that's necessarily vital for any of us. Yeah, I think we're fine. We're going to get down there. We're going to cross our fingers for a siren, and we're going to also cross our fingers and toes that we can capture this siren. Let's do it. Okay, do we see... Oh... Lordy, lordy, forget the heck about sirens. <laughs> we, we have a bigger challenge ahead of us. Um, let's see. Can you even reach out there on the return fire? And there's no way it says here that you could even think about zapping it. it doesn't, I'm not getting the proper highlights. So I'm wondering if uh, piercing. Maybe you can't pierce through this thing yet. And that's the first thing we're going to have to do. So, wow, wow, I'm going to say wow again. This is crazy. Well, we're going to need some help on our side. And since we can't immediately do something here, you're going to come over here and get a priest on our side. And 
Is this a bomber on top of on top of that? Yes, and and we got bombs coming at us. Shred bombs, lovely, lovely, lovely. We are gonna have a lot of fun today, aren't we now? All right, that is picked up. I don't know if this will get us far enough to get picked up here, but we'll try. We need all hands on deck. We need everybody on our side. Oh no, two of them. <laughs> Baby. Oh, there's enemies all over the place, isn't there? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, dang. Whoops. Oh, boy. What have we got here? Um, we got ourselves a sticky situation. I'm feeling a little punchy, can't you tell? <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have to figure this out, what we can do. As far as the uh, return fire, I think you've gone as far as you can. I think you're you're done. So it's everybody else that we got to do things with. And we have an enemy up here. We have enemies all over and civilians that are going to die. At least we have a civilian back in the corner. So maybe, <laughs> maybe this one can survive. Let's see, how can we start? And where can we can we even get sight on this thing right off the bat? No. Unless, of course, we start climbing up on our buildings that we're near. If we have ladders. So we do have ladders to get up here and ways to get up here for our snipers. But uh, I guess we'll, we'll take that as a first step. So, yeah, we can we can see the thing from here. So we're going to try getting up high with our snipers. Let's rock. Who's this? Okay, this is the priest. I'm not going to just mash him forward. What I am going to do is bring him over here to frenzy us. <laughs> Wish I had checked him out sooner to realize he was frenzier. Did we? Oh, we ended up picking everybody up anyway. But I probably could have got us up to the roof. Oh, now I can. With that little extra burst of frenzy, we are up a little higher for next turn. And then that gets you even closer for next turn, too. So that, that, that that's okay. That's not bad. And, we yeah, we, we don't see anybody up this high. So we're just going to stay put right now. And we won't be able to overwatch. I could overwatch with this, but... Let's see where is a good spot for some turrets. I guess my question is, can I throw them up on the roof? We get them up on the roof too. Lord knows we're going to need them. This will help. That can uh, we start shooting with them now? Yeah, it says we'll be able to see things from up here. Maybe even bombardiers, which unfortunately I don't want to face because we're all going to fall off this building that I need to be on to be able to even see things to shoot. So uh, let's let's do a remote control up there. We have one within us. Let's see what that shot looks like. But I want to see what the shot looks like over here, to be quite honest. And uh, I'm actually going to go to weaken the bo bombing abdomen and do that first. And that was measly, crappy little bombing attempt. Uh, let's get you moving up towards these other bombing things. Maybe you can help us out. Let's see, Nikolai. I kind of feel like I should run you over in that direction in a way too. You have enough will, so let's let's get you running off in that direction. And maybe a swing of your scyther will help us against those bombers. 
Not this turn, but coming up. And how close do I dare get with those legs? Well, I dare get this close. <clears throat> oh, we freed a citizen, so he's going to get running back to the building of choice for everybody. Well, that guy helped by bombing the Aspida. He helped us with uh, some of the enemy, so we'll, we'll take whatever help we can get <laughs> at this point. That's the way I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Holy smokers. So we're hurting a little bit, but not that bad, to be quite honest. We held up to that spit that got onto us, and uh, damage-wise, I'm feeling lucky. I am feeling lucky, and I'm kind of thinking uh, we can get over here and we can start rapid clearancing and seeing what we can do against these guys. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. So let's do this while we have the will, and we can do it and see if we can at least take out some bombers. Okay, so not too much in the way of bombs were there to hurt us. Now, do we dare come over here and start the thing over here? I'm thinking, why not? All right, Nikolai, let's come in here and see what we can do. Well, that, that, that doesn't do much now, does it, as far as inspiring confidence? I think that'll be more important to our cause. So let's get over here and take the freebie shots on the turrets. And actually, before we do that... Let's show them what we can do. We're going to come over here, and we're going to risk him tearing into our building at some point. I know. Well, actually, can you see, you guys see where, from where you are? You'll both have Let's shots, too. We do. So we don't need to move right. at all up here. What we will do is uh, find one of you that has the ability to mark for death, and we're going to do it. Now is the time. Now this thing's going to take a bunch of shots. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a heck of a lot of shredding options. So we're just going to have to plow in with everything we got and see if we can start wearing it down. I think we'll focus on the abdomen because it has a heck of a lot less armor over here. Ah. 
Swing around, we know you do. Okay. So what I think the best option for you is to remote control till you're out of remote control and you're going to do more damage that way than with your little PDW down there. Just have them swing around. go as much as possible we'll we'll just keep going to town on that abdomen and seeing what we can do we do have quick aims now here uh, the other thing well that's just a pythagoras that's not the uh, paralyzing one so we're just gonna quick aim So many hit points on that monstrosity. And I just don't think oh, it says piercing 80. Well, we could start thinking, but we're slowly, slowly, oh so slowly wearing it down. We took out the abdomen. How about that? So I think uh, we don't have to worry about any belching coming up. Let's just keep uh, dishing out the damage. Steal on target. As best we can. Civilian, run away. And can you get yourself anywhere positioned? Potentially here, it says. For a shot of some virus into that belching rear end. Let's see if you can help us this way. A whooping six virus. That, that, that's, that's not the kind of help I was hoping for. Not really. What are our options here? Let's see what we have here as an option. No. Now we can, just to take this guy out of the mix. And then I'm thinking with the Aspida, we're going to get the return fire nearby. Kind of thinking about sending, uh, sending the Aspida over here. Not too much damaged yet. It's just an extra distraction for this thing. And see if that'll help. And then you have the ability to shoot. Is he a target? Can we see what we need to see back here? don't really swing it around so I guess we'll just get closer for one more shot and uh, we should there should not be any armor back on that abdomen anymore no it still has armor though so guess what we're gonna try an armor break if you have that available and you do into that abdomen so we have even a softer place to hit it without armor. Right there. Alright. Now we see what kind of damage this thing can do to us in its war cried frame of mind. It 
would appear he's thinking about getting out of here. Like uh, either another uh, another Anu guy was over there, or a civilian, one of the two. Now, what we can do is uh, heal you back up to a hundred percent, Nikolai. And I, I I like that situation for you a lot better. Now, what is your willpower looking like? You are out of willpower, my man. You are out of willpower. Uh, before we proceed and how to how to go with you, let's get over to some of our heavy hitters over here. And we'll start with the freebies, and that's the turret. I think we almost got him. I think we only need one more little tip and he's gone. What's his health? 20. Well, he's bleeding out for sure. So that part's a, a given. Uh, but what I'm going to do with you, Nikolai, is dash you right here. We can't do rapid clearance, but hopefully we don't need to. Okay, and then, and then, and then, and then, where do we want to go? Well, let let let's let's get oh boy. you to shoot your PDW. We don't need the remote control. Let's get you a nice kill. How about that? Well, guys, it wasn't what we were hoping for. <laughs> Satisfying to know we survived and were able to take it out. Uh, thank goodness. But um, we still got to be out there searching around for a freaking uh, siren out there. We're going to have to put out our best siren call to see if we can get one to turn up. Okay, and we have one capture from there. Not that we need. It's not the capture we were hoping for, wasn't it? We... Um, Revealed the location of their colony. It's a Pandoran lair. And now, you know, we could think about moving on to that Pandoran lair. Because, you know, we often have... What's that in a lair? A siren, you say? Let's go find... <laughs> Let's go find out where the lair might be. Oh, it's way down here. Well, I think we're, we're going to send this same team out to the lair. And see if we can't do something down there. We also have another... Haven being attacked, but I think we have ships getting there. It's just a matter of will they get there in time. So let's send these two ships down to the lair. And get get moving. Okay, first ship's there to the lair. And we've made it here. I think we had trading in mind here. Uh, well, we're, we're sitting a lot, lot better than we ever used to be, so... I'm going to go ahead and uh, still trade the food for materials. And I'm not sure. I think we'll just kind of keep you in the area if we have any more trade. There's really not any more trade. So let's just sit at our base. And it looks like a lair is in our plans for next time. Now I think the other haven being attacked is right here. I have the Ti the Pokey Tiamats headed there and I know I have something else headed there. There it is. The McKinley. So the McKinley for sure will make it to this haven and I'm not sure about the two trailing Tiamats. They'll probably get like this close and then we'll run out of time for them. But um, well this is not what we were hoping for but it's part of the quest Part of, the, part of what we got to go through to find a siren. Today, we didn't get what we wanted. Hopefully next time, we do. This is ZigZagZog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time.